Let's roll. Now, it may be that time of summer where those of you, especially those of you with tomato plants, have had enough of the tomato mozzarella salad, the pasta sauces, etc., and are thinking about resorting to ketchup. I have a better alternative, tomato jam. It's a cousin of ketchup and a cousin of salsa and a cousin of tomato sauce. And like tomato sauce and ketchup, you can can it and you can keep it forever. But it's different in that has a fair amount of sugar because you want it to be gloppy and jammy and a lot of spice. Um, other than that, pretty straightforward. You have to cook it for an hour, an hour and a quarter, maybe even an hour and a half to get that kind of jammy quality to it, but you don't have to watch that happen. So here you go. Chopped tomatoes. I'm using plum because I want that meatiness. I don't want too much liquid in here or no more than we need. Sugar, about a big lump like that. About, uh, I don't know, half a cup per pound of tomatoes, maybe a little more. Jalapeno, and you can use crushed red pepper here if you'd rather, but this is nice. Some, some minced jalapeno, obviously to taste. I like some heat in this. A teeny pinch of, I mean, when I say a pinch, I should do that. That much, a sixteenth of a teaspoon of ground cloves, or you could throw a couple of cloves in as long as you remember to fish them out. Uh, maybe half a teaspoon of cinnamon, or you could stick in a cinnamon stick as long as you remember to fish that out. Make it a teaspoon. And a good teaspoon of ground cumin or coriander or both, or to taste. You can taste this later. This, the key thing, I think, is chopped ginger. And um, while you might be tempted to mince it for this, I like these big chunks because I like to bite into pieces of ginger when I'm eating things. So, and some lime juice, salt, of course. Look, it's beautiful already. Get that on the stove and I'll show you what it looks like in a couple of minutes. So it's been exactly an hour and a quarter. And you see that beautiful sort of glossiness, that shine, and it's, it's very ketchup-like, really. Um, and it doesn't have to be as thick as you think it needs to be for jam, because as it cools, it will congeal further. So you can can it, like I said, keep it all winter. You can put it in attractive pots like this one. Look how nice. This is good on, you know, the sort of litany of roast meats, grilled fish, chicken, crackers, whatever. However, this is too hot to eat, but I have brought my own supply cooked yesterday. And that's what it looks like when it's jammy. It's so good because it has that quality of, first of all, the spicing is, is really lovely, but it has that quality of sun-dried tomatoes. Tomatoes really, really cooked to death, but with still substance. And then it has the quality of jam, you know, sweet and delicious, which shouldn't be surprising since tomato is a fruit. Mm -hmm.